sitting at the door man that was on break they, they start receiving at 12 that went on break when I went in there about I think I went in there at 1 o'clock they told me to come sit right here at the door so here I am just waiting waiting on them to open this door so I can lay down and go to sleep until they finish unloading me I see the sun out now. I ain't got my watch on yet. Grab my watch from back here. Come on, watch. Time to get to the money. My dispatcher just called me with a with a load I didn't like. I ordered her for like an hour, and then she kept bugging me. She called me. I sent the message first. I was like, I don't want. I was like, any other options? She messaged me back. She was like, nothing else in the area. I ignored the message because I was still laying down at, at the time, too. I didn't message her back. She called me. She left a voicemail. She was like, Dion, um, you can pick this load up and take it home if you want to. Deliver it tomorrow. It's, it's, it's in Troy, North Carolina, if y'all ever been there before. Troy, North Carolina. What's the name of this place? Troy Lumber. That's the name of it. I've been there many times. A lot of I don't know if I ever made a video there, but uh, you gotta go there, cross the scale, go to the top of the hill, get loaded. Then you come back down, scale out again, back up beside the scale, tarp the load. And I've I picked it up many times and took it to Madison. And I've also picked it up many times and took it home and then took it to Madison in the morning. <laughs> but uh, the thing about it, if I go home with it, it's like like a five-hour drive. In the, it's like almost 300 miles to drop it off the next day. 
So I really don't like going home with it. I really don't. So if I, if I pick it up, I'm, I already accepted it now because she kept bugging me. I've already accepted it, but when I pick it up today, I'm not going home with it. I'm taking it straight to Madison because I, I was looking at my notes. They stopped receiving at three at 6, 6 p.m. I might can make it today. 9.55 right now. If I go ahead and hit the road. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. I got seven minutes. I'm seven minutes into my pre-trip. Seven minutes. So I'm sitting here. I got to get out the truck. I got to get out in a second. Hey, let's be real, man. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Hey, y'all know ain't nothing wrong with these damn trucks. Nothing wrong with these damn trucks. <laughs> I topped off my coolant yesterday. Checked the oil, too. It's, hey, it's good. I just, I just fucking did a post-trip fucking three hours ago. <laughs> Yeah, man, had me dropping off this damn load of steel at fucking midnight. They're receiving hours 12 to 12 to 4, midnight, 12 to 4 a.m. I got here I got here last night. I was third truck when I got here. When I pulled up, it was two more trucks already here. I got here at like 10.45, but right at midnight, I was up. Like, I couldn't really go to sleep. I laid down. I couldn't really go to sleep. So, 12 o'clock, I was the first truck in. But even though I was first truck in, these mother's mother truckers, they didn't start unloading me until about 3.30. So I sat inside there. I sat it. They told me to pull up to the they told me to pull up to the bay, take the straps off, and when they open the door, pull inside the building. I did that, sat there for like an hour. Then when they opened the door, I pulled inside the building, sat there for like another two hours, then they unloaded me. Then I brought my ass back out here where I'm at now on the street. So, hey, I went to sleep. I should have closed my damn curtains. I should have closed them. But I was so tired. I ain't getting to bed till. I ain't getting to bed till, like, maybe it was 4 o'clock when I got back in the bed. Hey, I was tired. I was like, man, I'm laying my ass down. I couldn't believe it when I woke up and seen it was 9-something. I just brushed my teeth with a bottle of water. And then I just looked at my fuel level because I was in such a rush to get here last night. I ain't getting no fuel. And then I looked on my damn trucker path. Hey, shout out trucker path, man. I just looked on the motherfucking trucker path. It's a flying J seven miles from where I'm at right now. <laughs> I never been to that flying J, but I know where it's at. I pass it all the time. I think it's like a little small one. Yeah, just looked on trucker path. Seven miles from where I'm at now is a damn flying J. So I'm about to go over there and get me some coffee. Then I'm about to go to Troy, pick this damn load up, tarp lumber. And I'm pro probably not going to tarp that motherfucker today. Because I don't know, see no damn rain in the forecast. I ain't going to fucking tarp it. I can go, I can take it straight. Hey, when you get to Madison, they don't care what you do. They don't care if you tarp the load or not. They don't care. But they, they care if that motherfucker get wet. They do care about that. Cause when you go to Madison, they um they got like a little tester. They poke it in the wood and they test they test the levels of the moisture. So yeah, they, they I ain't gonna say that they, they now I, I asked the guy one time, I was like, man, cause I see a lot of other trucks pulling in with no tarps. He was like, Yeah, if you know it's not gonna rain, he said like, you can you can bring it with no tarp, but he was like, if if it rains, it's on you. Hey. Cause it's been some days, man, where it's been hot as hell, 90. 100 degrees, no rain, and my dumb ass still tarped it. And I learned that lesson quick. I learned that lesson quick over the summer when I was going up there. Let me grab my gloves. Look, I was so tired last night. I ain't even moved a damn dunnage. Left that shit there. I said, fuck that dunnage. I'll get it when I wake up. Look. All the dunnage still sitting on the trailer. Let me move this damn dunnage. I tell you, I tell you something else about this place right here. This place is called PNA, PNA something. It's in Charlotte.
When I first got here last night, I got here at like 12, or when I first checked in, I checked in like 12, 15, and the guy was like, we're about to go to break. He was like, you could just go ahead and pull your truck up. We're about to go to break, so pull it up to the bay. That's when I first got here last night. That's what he told me. So I'm like, all right. So then, when I finally got inside the building, this is this is the same story I just told y'all just a few minutes ago. But when I when I got inside the building, I didn't tell y'all I sat in my truck for almost an hour, and I was just looking around, looking at people. There's a lot of people working inside that building. I'm looking around at people, and they like it's like nobody making a move to try to unload me. And so I'm over here working on my straps. And so I got out the truck and I went to talk to. The, I seen this guy. And I was like, yo, where's your supervisor? And he was like, I'm not sure where the supervisor's at. He was like, wow, what's up? I said, man, I said, man, when y'all gonna start unloading me? He was like, man, he was like, he was like, they'll come to your truck whenever they are ready to unload you. He said, but we about to go to break right now. I said, what? I said, what? <laughs> y'all about to go to break? Yeah, I'm glad I'm taking this load to Madison. I'm glad I'm taking this load because I'm going to try to drop this load off today. Then I'm trying to go take, get my ass to the terminal so I can get this damn air leak fixed. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I got an air leak. Whenever I cut the truck off, it, it leaks. I know where it's leaking from, but I'm, the question is I don't know why. Yeah, the, hey, the guy talking about... Got talking about, yeah, we about to go to break right now. I said, man, they told me, I said, they told me y'all were going to break when I first got here. I'm like, how many breaks are y'all going to take? And I'm about to show y'all in a second why this is relevant. Why it's relevant to the conversation. I thought I tightened up these straps. Hey, this is the best way to secure doing this too. If you got these hooks on your catwalk, Hey, keep it done. Keep that shit secure. Keep it, keep it laid down. Two one-inch straps. You can also do it with two-inch straps, but the, the one-inch straps they're just a little bit more convenient. Yeah. So basically, it's just one strap right there, and I got it on the two hooks, and another one on that side. And so that these these one inch straps, they they pull all this together and they keep it on the catwalk. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm glad I took this load. But look, the reason I'm telling y'all about the about the brake situation, look, I'm see if I can zoom in. Look. Y'all see what I see? Y'all see. You guys guys down there right now on break how many breaks do y'all get they probably get three breaks probably eight hour eight hour shift they probably get three breaks but um i see what the, i seen what the problem was last night the guy that unloads the trucks he also was like works on the assembly line so what they need for him to do they need for him to work on get off that assembly line and just unload trucks all night Let me go ahead and get ready to hit this truck stop. I already brushed my teeth, but I gotta get my coffee. Hey, I'm a sucker for coffee, I gotta get it. I gotta get some fuel too, cause that's what I was talking about earlier. I, I was such in a rush last night to get fuel, I didn't get it. But I'm like, no matter which direction I, I leave out of Charlotte, 85 north or south, 77 north or south, I'm, I'm gonna see a truck stop. So I really wasn't worried about it. I know I could get fuel anywhere. Let's go get this coffee. Here we go. The big city of Troy, North Carolina. Little downtown area.
reminds me of uh, Oxford, North Carolina. But this got a little bit more space than Oxford. Oxford real tight. Got to almost take up both lanes just to get through the town. Mr. Popo sitting in the turn lane. Almost there. Almost there. Also close to Mount Gilead, Mount Gilead, or Mount Gilead, how you pronounce it, North Carolina. They got a lumber yard as well that we that we pick up from. Hopefully, I'll be in and out. Hopefully. Now the scale house down here. You got to make a real big loop before you line up and go across it. Almost got to be looking at the scale out of your passenger window before you make the turn. Like right now, I went real wide so I can get my trailer, get my trailer around. But this scale is tight. Here we go. We're coming up it now. I learned that in truck driving school way back in the day. When you're making a wide turn, be able to see. Where are you going out of your passenger window before you turn the truck? That'll get your trailer. you get your trailer lined up to go straight. I don't know if anybody ever told y'all that, but hey, it's been working for me. Do it at the truck stop too. Do it at the truck stop when you're trying to squeeze into a tight spot. Let me go check in. Now we're headed to the top of the hill. It's been a while since I've been here. I know we gotta make a right on the street, and then we're gonna make a left and go to the top of the hill. Something like that. Should be some signs up there. If I can't remember the turn. Oh, there's a sign right there. Number trucks, top of the hill. Yeah. Hey, read this fundamental. One right there on my left. Lumber trucks, top of the hill. And right here on my right, we got another sign that says lumber trucks, top of the hill. Hey, self-explanatory. Hey, I bet you, I bet you got some truckers. Probably go all the way to the highway right there. That stop sign, right, that stop light right in front of me. That's the way I just came when I came through downtown. Yeah, top of the hill. Top of the hill, baby. That's another sign right there. That says, notice, lumber trucks keep left. Well, that shit says stay left. Then you got a bunch of other signs over there that say no trucks. So this is what they call top of the hill. Stop sign up here. Stop at the stop sign and wait until it's your turn to pull up. Well, actually, you got to back in. When I get to the stop sign, I'll be able to see if there's any more trucks already in here. 
Yeah, two more trucks. Actually, three more trucks in there right now. One getting loaded. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my shoes on. Cause right now I got on Crocs. If you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. Go ahead and put my Crocs on. Well, not my Crocs, but my shoes. So I can get ready to get loaded. I got on a hard hat too. Y'all can't see me. Hey, we're gonna be a little proactive. Hey, the guy ain't told me to back in yet, but the other truck pulled out. So I'm backing in. Hey, we're gonna be a little proactive today. We don't need to wait. Oh man. Connor Stegger got to get loaded. Connor Stover, however you say it. I thought I was about to be next. You got to be careful right here. You don't go down that hill. I don't know how we're going to explain that to PNS. I don't know how we're going to explain that one. <laughs> Went for a ride. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Went for a ride, man. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. That thing, that's a straight drop right there. Yeah, they usually have more than one forklift out here. They only got one today. Where you at, Migos? I don't see my buddies out here. All right, we're going to get out and uh, get this trailer ready. Get this trailer ready for loading. What I got to do by me getting it ready for loading. Take the tarps off. Drop them on the ground. Because they're going to pick them up. Put them on top of the load. And on my right side of my trailer. All my straps. is tightened down to the, to the rub rail. So I got to break them out. Look at my man over there. Yeah, you can strap it. You ever come to this place, you can strap it while they load it. There's a fork that's coming out right now. Look at that, look at that one little bundle he got. One little bundle. That's why it takes so long. Hey man, we need a big fork little. They pick all the bundles up at one time. Hey, I ain't said nothing about these glasses. How y'all like my glasses? Look all professional. Man, my GPS right now says 440. I says I could be at Madison about 440. But we already see that ain't gonna happen. They start receiving at six. I wanna get there tonight and get unloaded tonight. But even if I don't get unloaded tonight, I'll be unloaded first thing in the morning. And then I can dead head to the terminal. That's, that's like a three hour dead head to get back to Emporia. Cause I gotta get this uh I gotta get this air leak fixed before it gets worse. But let me get out and get this trailer ready. Don't look like I'm gonna. Don't look like I'm gonna make it up there to Madison before before six o'clock. I already got my trailer ready. Drop the tarps on the ground. This guy's still over there. I think he might be about finished with that truck. Then I got this other truck on my right side. We ain't gonna make it. If I didn't have to get this air leak fixed. I'll take it on to the house. But I gotta get this leak fixed. I don't wanna do it. If I if I went home today, I wouldn't be in Madison. Cause like I said, it's like a five hour drive from the house. I have to still have to get the leak fixed and then it's just gonna burn my clock up getting back to the terminal to get it fixed. So we're gonna go to we're still going to Madison tonight. We ain't gonna tarp it. We ain't gonna tarp it here. If I had to tarp it, I'd, I'd tarp it. But we ain't tarping it here, cause I'm gonna try to get there. Hey man, I ain't dropped a video since I want to say August. Since last time I dropped a video. But since I haven't dropped a video, I be I be having so many people that be recognizing me at the truck stops. 
They be like, hey, yeah, they be like, yo, D man, when you gonna drop a video? People in the flatbed group. Hey, when you gonna drop a video? Hey, I never, never get. I think the last video I dropped was the one when I did the, the um, the flatbed scholarship. That was the last one I dropped. And that's now December. Today is what December first. What is it? First or the second? It's the, today is the first. December first. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to everybody that didn't uh, I haven't talked to. Happy Halloween. I ain't drop a video then. Hey, but if y'all y'all do follow me on social media, y'all would have seen my little uh, my little Halloween outfit. I was a pimp with curly hair. It was a nice outfit too, a pimp with curly hair. And now here we are going into Christmas. Here we are going into Christmas. Christmas, New Year's. It's crazy how time flies, man. Time flies by like just like that before you even know it. Going into a new year. Hey, I still, I'm still pretty active on social media, just not YouTube. It's like, man, like I've been, I've been trying to get to the money. When you be trying to get to the money, you don't be really be having time to, you know, set up, set up my cameras, and you know, talk and make a storyline and stuff like that. So that's that's why you really haven't been seeing me. Not cause I'm mad at y'all, cause I love my YouTube subscribers. Y'all been with me since day one. I just, I just been laying low, man, trying to get to the money. Trying to get to the money, man. I was sick last week. I thought I had COVID, but I don't know if I had it or I didn't have it. I ain't never get tested. But I was so sick. I spent the night up there in South Hill, Virginia. This was a week before last. I spent, I spent the night at that pilot with the Walmart behind it. And uh, that next morning, I woke up. My head was hurting. I kept coughing. I kept, uh, you know how you cough and you spit the cold out. Kept doing that. I went inside the pilot that morning. And got me some, um, some Dayquil, little shot bottles, little small bottles, like three dollars. But the, you drank the whole bottle. It was one dose. I got like four of them. I took those. I didn't want to take the Nyquil because I didn't want to be drowsy. And just the night before, I was in that Walmart and I was going to get some Nyquil. And um, but I was like, I ain't want to oversleep. I ain't want that Nyquil to knock me out. So I ain't get it. This got a log update. Wonder what's up with that. Log update. Hey, Cause I've been doing a lot of editing yesterday with that load I did last night. Sleeper birth. I didn't put myself in a sleeper berth. I was off duty. Driving. That's today. Yard move, yard move, yard move, sleeper berth. Yeah, I did a lot of editing last night. I had to. <laughs> hey, I started my 10 hour break. I started my 10 hour break when I pulled up at the place. I pulled up, like I said, I pulled up by, matter of fact, I pulled up at 10.33. Cause soon as I looked at the time, I said, okay, 8.33, 10 hour break. Yeah, I started my 10 hour break. And I had to get unloaded. So I had to, I had to do, I had to do some things that involve, that involves e editing. Not, nothing illegal, just making corrections. Making corrections. That's all. I see my company changed it to sleeper berth. I had it on off duty. They put it on sleeper berth. Hey, it is what it is. I dropped that damn load off. I dropped that load off. I tell you that. <laughs> I dropped it off. I ain't wake up this morning till nine, nine something, nine fifteen. And I had this load. Like I said, I was, I was going back and forth with my dispatch, not answering the phone, not messaging the back. But if I would have took this load right away, I could have been on the road by now and headed to Madison. But hey, I was trying to hold out for something else. I ain't want to haul no damn lumber up to Madison. I don't I don't want to take this load, but hey, it is what it is. I don't like the rate. I don't like the area I'm going to because I know I got a dead head out. I'm gonna have to dead head. Even if I 
even if I stayed in Madison and waited for another load, still got deadhead. I probably got deadhead to Gladys or uh, Halifax, Virginia. Gladys, Halifax, or what's the other place up there? Uh, Lynchburg. Either way, I got a deadhead out. And that's just that that area. If I, I either got deadhead there or I got deadhead to Richmond. Like Richmond, Petersburg, and Poria. I got a deadhead somewhere. But most of those loads coming out of Gladys, those loads always go north. They always go to Pennsylvania. What's today? Wednesday. So this load's due tomorrow on Thursday. So I definitely ain't going to Pennsylvania on a Friday. So no matter what, if this load get dropped off today or tomorrow, I'm going south. No matter what. I'm going south. I ain't going north. Because I'm not fighting that traffic coming back north on Friday. Especially coming through Fredericksburg. I'm not going to fight it. I take something going to South Carolina. But like when I pick up when I drop this off and pick up tomorrow, I need to be going to South Carolina, North Carolina, somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> I ain't going too far. I go to Georgia, but I ain't going too far. It's gonna be somewhere close that I know I can get a reload that's gonna get me back in North Carolina. And that's and that's another reason y'all ain't really been seeing me too much. Cause I, I haven't been I don't, I don't I don't really run those those loads where you know spectacular loads and stuff that do it that take a lot of effort. I don't really run those loads anymore. Like I do a lot of preloads now. Preloads, um, Cofield, those steel plates that I just had last night. I run a lot of those. I run a lot of sheetrock out of Wilmington. I go to the port sometimes. I actually I actually could have got a port load Monday. But I didn't want to take it because the sheetrock load paid the same as the as the port load, which was uh, four um, out to the sky coils. It was four of those, and it paid the same as the sheetrock that was preloaded. I would have had to go to the port. I would have got there at lunchtime, so I would have had to wait till one o'clock to get after one o'clock to get loaded, secure it, tarp it, then drive up there to was it Black something Virginia something up there. Right up, right up Fancy Gap. It ain't far. It ain't far from, what's that place, man? Not sure. Blacks, it ain't Blacksburg. Wherever it's at, it's like, it's like 45 minutes from Roanoke. Because usually when I go there, I did head to Roanoke and get a preload that goes to Livonia, Georgia. And those loads, they don't really pay too good either. Yeah, that's what I be doing, man. I be, hey, I be trying to get the best rate for the money. That's what I do. The best rate for the money is what I do. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna get paid the same off this preload, there was there's no point of me going to get this live load and waiting in line to get loaded. I'm gonna take the preload all day. I just been I just been moving different. Must have been moving different, that's all. I took a New York load like three weeks ago, went to Brooklyn. It would have been some good footage, but I was going to a spot that I never been before, so I really didn't have time to really really get footage. Hey, y'all know how it is, man. Y'all know how it is when you get into the money. Y'all know how it is. Hey, but it's good. To, it's good that I get to drop a little something that y'all can, y'all can comment on and let me know that y'all still rock with me. Hey, like I always say, man. Hey, hey, drop, hey, drop the snowman's in the video. That's how I know y'all made it to this point in this video. This video probably up to the 20 minute mark right now, maybe. Hey, drop the snowmans. I know y'all still rocking with me if I see them snowmans. I'm driving and I see all the notifications. I see a bunch of snowmans coming up. I know y'all still rocking with me, man. All right, man. I know I... Y'all know I... Y'all know once I get to talking, I don't never shut up. Y'all should know that by now. I'm going to sit here and chill out and wait my turn. Matter of fact, let me get my GPS real quick and check the time. Get an update. Let's get a let's get an update. See what the time say. Remember, six o'clock. What time they start receiving? Let's see what the time say. Keep in mind, I haven't got loaded yet. Waiting on this. Waiting on this. Tomorrow. Please drive to highlighted route. I, can, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like I say, five thirty-one. Oh, five thirteen. For y'all ass, it's it's a what's this OTR one thousand? It's a Garmin. It's top of the line right here. It's the best of the best. 
If y'all want a GPS, this is the one to buy right here. I love this thing. I always throw it in the back when I'm getting loaded too. When I'm getting loaded and unloaded, I take it out the window because you just sitting in one spot and start getting hot. Hey, make sure y'all keep an eye on y'all GPSs, man, because that's a good investment. You don't want it to overheat. I actually had that happen to my Ram and Nally back in the day. It got hot and it overheated. I had to wait for it to cool off. It took about 20 minutes for it to cut back on. All right, gang. We're going to chill for a minute. Y'all heard that? It's that air leak. Air leak I was telling you about. Oh, man. Guess where I'm going? Loves. I didn't get to take a shower last night. Because when I picked up that load in Cofield, I had to book it on down to Charlotte. Didn't get to take a shower. Since I'm going to Madison tonight and spending the night at Madison, I ain't gonna be able, I ain't gonna be able to get a shower tonight. And since now I know I'm not gonna make it there by before six o'clock, I'm gonna stop here, take a shower, keep it moving. That's what we're gonna do. Take a shower, grab some quick lunch. Cause I ain't gonna be able to. I, I, I mean, it's a wall. If y'all ever been to Madison Wood Preserves in Madison, Virginia, it's a Walmart down the street. I parked there many times. They got restaurants around the area, but that would defeat the whole purpose of me going all the way to the receivers. But then I had to start my clock in the morning and um, drive down the street to get unloaded. So my whole plan is to get unloaded without starting my clock. So we're gonna grab some lunch right now before I take my shower. If I get hungry tonight, I got some cereal. I eat some cereal or something. This, this thing right here is usually full of water. Ain't no water another day. All right, all right. A.M. The guy just knocked on my door. Remember how I told y'all I wasn't gonna drop this load? Let me show you something. It's the tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade, let me tell you that. Told you, if anybody ever been to Madison, you know that they uh they put a little tester on the on the lumber. They put a little tester on it. And plus it was uh it was rain on the forecast last night. So when I got here last night, I hopped up there. You don't see no budgets on it, do you? I hopped out there, unrolled it, just draped it over the lumber. So it looks like I just took all the bungees off last night. Tricks of the trade. Hey, flatbed gang, man. Hey, this all they're gonna do, take this off and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video short. Look at this other PNS driver. Fully talked, still got bungees on. Even if I would've talked my love, I still would've took the bungees off last night. Yeah, I would have had my hanging down this morning.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's my dog over there. Hey, we out, man. Flatbed gang. <laughs>